Up next, Russ and I are going to talk about Criterion, Arrow, and 4K releases from a bunch of other studios. And if you like what you see here, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you click that notification bell to get notified for future videos. It's the best way to support us. And hey, we're awesome. Long live the new flesh. Some more news, Russ. Comes from our good friends at Criterion. They put out their um, their next slate of releases. Two of the bigger ones that I noticed on here were Night of the Living Dead in 4K and The Lost Highway in 4K. So Night of the Living Dead's coming out August 4th, and it was also released by Criterion like in 2018 on Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. And it was released in the exact same art. It is labeled as a digipack. So it sounds like maybe it's one like a Citizen Kane or a hmm. Irishman or something where it yeah, folds out yeah, to some yeah. degree. It says that it's arriving with a previously completed 4K restoration supervised by Romero and like four people in the production crew. And it also has a previously restored mono soundtrack. Uh, it appears to have one 4K disc with the film and then two blues with extras, which includes a work print of the film as well. Does seem to be identical features from the last release, but it is a lot. Mm -hmm. Have you ever bought this and buy it from Criterion or anyone otherwise? No, I've never picked up. And I want to say it's public domain. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those titles I never feel the ur I never feel the immediacy mm -hmm. in picking it up. Stop it! You're ignorant. Classic movie, great movie, uh, landmark film, obviously. But it's always just there. I never feel yeah. like I have to own it. Gotcha. But that's the set to get. I like yeah. that 4K. I like the artwork, that criteria. I mean, it's pretty I think it looks cool. release, but I always thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. And I will say that I watched Raging Bull, and it looked incredible. And in black and white, it looks amazing. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking Night of the Living Dead in black and white might also, you know, get that same kind of, you know, quality upgrade. Now, I will say when I looked at the previous Criterion release in blue for Raging Bull, it wasn't that much of a difference. There's definitely sharpness, and the blacks get blacker and that kind of stuff. But... It's just, it's going to be maybe just like a minimal upgrade if you already have the blue. Maybe that's just something to decide. Out October 11th also on 4K from Criterion for the first time in 4K and from Criterion is Lost Highway. So this is a new pickup for them. Lynch himself supervised this 4K restoration. There's Dolby Vision uh, HDR involved, a new DTS HD master track, solid features. Again, this is new for Criterion. They're putting out... A full-length 1997 documentary, The Art of David Lynch, which includes set footage of Lost Highway, archival interviews with Lynch and the cast. Lynch reads from his book, Room to Dream. Yes, I did have a repeating dream. And I'm in the desert, and way in the distance, I see my father start walking toward me. And I know that I have a good father and a bad father. And I don't know which one this is. And he's walking closer and closer and closer. And all of a sudden, boom! I will say this one completely flew over my head when I watched it. It probably was meant to. I probably owe it a rewatch. I don't know that I'm picking this up, but I will say it's got a fire soundtrack. Pretty much same. I'm open to rewatching it. When I first saw it, the only David Lynch films I had seen previously, because this came out in 97, you and I were 15 years old. The only David Lynch film I had seen before Lost Highway was uh, Blue Velvet. For a David Lynch movie, Blue Velvet's pretty linear and you can follow it. And yeah. I thought that's, I, when I always heard David Lynch was weird, I was like, well, if Blue Velvet's weird, That's that ain't shit. Who is this fuck? And then I watched Lost Highway and I'm like, what? I don't even understand what What's I just happening? watched. But like you said, I love the soundtrack. I'm open to give it another shot. I watched it when From, it came out, so I feel like I could maybe at least, it might appeal to me a little bit more. Exactly, and I've seen many more David Lynch films since I've attempted this yeah. as a 15-year-old. I'd like to revisit it, but based on my memories and comparing it to the Lynch films I've seen since, I still don't think it's anywhere, it, it's nowhere near Elephant Man, Eraser Ed, even Blue Velvet. God damn you are one swamp fucker. But one of the more exciting announcements that I saw this week that we did discuss as a rumor finally came from Arrow for their October slate, and that is Videodrome. 
in 4K coming out October 24th. And now this is coming from Arrow UK only at the moment. It's arriving with a brand new 4K restoration from the original camera negative. Um, not only of the director's cut, but the theatrical cut as well is getting this restoration. That's cool. Supervised by David Cronenberg himself. An insane amount of features that are included. They're the same as when Arrow put this out before on Blue, but so much stuff. Commentaries, documentaries, roundtables, interviews. But there are two separate versions that you can get. So this is the one version that uh, pretty much any retailer, Amazon UK is selling. And this is the art from the first time that they put this out. You're getting photos, you're getting the poster of the original art, a booklet, and so forth. But now the Arrow website exclusive is the same exact set, of course, but you're getting the original art instead, which I think I like more. Listen to me. What? I want you to stay away from it. The change here, though, is depending on which one you get, the booklet, the poster, and the disc art changes. So if you look here you're kind of getting a bit of a difference oh, in the poster. I kind of like having an alternate poster because I don't do anything with those anyway. And it's just kind of nice that there's something different in there than the art when the, all I really want is the know, art on the box. You know, what's crazy. I own this criteria. And I think I'm on record on this, uh, on our pod is saying this is probably the best uh, Cronenberg film. I was initially going to go with the alternate cover, not the original artwork because I'm a fan of blondie as well and debbie harry mm -hmm. but i like like i just noticed that which you said that alternate poster in the original artwork one actually has it's like a debbie harry focused poster yeah rather than the original artwork poster i don't know i'm torn what should i do i don't know but i'll tell you what i feel like the price is right that's only that's 36 a, bucks yeah that's the price is right on that that's Dude, awesome. when we're done recording i'm gonna just pre-order this now. i mean that's the price of a criterion <laughs> release that's the price yeah, of you know what i mean like uh, any of those screen factories we just covered were all 36 dollars. i mean that's what this is that's a great price for what you're getting anyone watching you can't go wrong with either edition if that's the price i asked you this the last time we talked about the rumor and i i said you know i love cronenberg i love james woods you'll love it i just bought crash haven't watched it yet but i have a I feeling would i would love it and I feel like because Blind the price is so reasonable, Blind buy it. you just go. Blind just buy get it. it, right? Honestly, I think you'll like this more than Crash. I know you. You love The Fly. You. This is the right same my era. Yeah. Oh, my God. And it's arguably better than The Fly, man. If I had to say, see, that's the thing. When I'm, when I'm saying what's the best Cronenberg film, and I'm looking at his horror output. So I'm stopping around, like, let's say, Dead Ringers, yeah. right? It comes down to Videodrome or The Fly. And I got to give him the John Carpenter rule which is I can't say The Thing is John Carpenter's best movie because there was something before it's, he was riffing on something. Yeah. So to me, it's Halloween. I can't say The Fly is his then because he's riffing on something that already existed where this was original. I have a strong feeling I'm going to blind by this. And when it comes it. out, let's come back and actually talk about it because I'd like to watch it and then we'll we'll give the full, the full it. thought. It's I mean, more, I, I just can't wait to see James ending, Woods. It's more your type of movie than mine even. So like right. yeah, blind by it, dude. Anyone else out there blind buying this? Let us know. You're the only below. person who hasn't seen it, man. Okay. <laughs> who left the fridge open? Moving right along to Kino, our good friends at Kino. So they've got a few interesting things that are coming out. One being Tropic Thunder. Again, we covered this when it was just announced. Now all the details, the date, it's September 13th. It's coming out. Two disc edition. There's going to be a restoration, 4K restoration supervised by Stiller and Adobe Vision HDR presentation. 4K theatrical, but Blu-ray of the director's cut. Take a big step back and literally fuck your own face. And that actually, that split has seemed to divide people because some people are saying they wanted 4K of both or they wanted the 4K of the directors and theatrical should have been vice versa. Um, the director's cut for those who aren't in the know contains 17 minutes more. And apparently it's like 34 extended scenes, which got cut for gore to try to keep it you know, in the R range because it was beyond that. And then 12 additional um, scenes, a music change, like a bunch of different little things that kind of flush the movie out. Some of which I read was bloat. Some of which maybe gives a little bit more nuance to this very highbrow film. Watched a lot of retarded people, spent time with them, observed them, watched all the retarded stuff they did. This movie I did own on Blu-ray and it had a ton of features and all those are here. And it's such a, you know, like just a deep dive into the complete making of this from the creation of it, the casting of it, the makeup of it, the, them going to the MTV Movie Awards, like the beginning to end, the DVD commentaries. It comes with a nice slip too. Look, it's got that like alternate art slip around the original art Kino and I like it. This movie's good. I like this movie. 
it's not a movie I would have bought, but I bought it anyway, and it's for that goddamn commentary. There it is on the 4K disc. Man, I don't drop character till I've done a DVD commentary. Dude, that commentary is hysterical. It's better than the movie itself. I would rather watch that movie with that commentary than sit through the film. I just love that commitment. I thought that was hilarious. A throwaway line in the movie that I stay in character all the way through the DVD commentary. And then he actually does it. Give me Bruce Lee. (laughs) Bruce Lee is dead. He's get his brother. (laughs) Wetger Hauer. I also do circumcision. Blind Fury. Blind Fury coming from Kino Lorber. This is out October 11th. It was previously put out on Blu-ray by Mill Creek in that VHS edition. Now, what's funny about this is there's a new audio commentary by the screenwriter, but it also says the theatrical trailer newly remastered in 2K. Now, I don't know if that's like a typo. That's supposed to be its own line because the movie has now been remastered in 2K. But as for now, we <laughs> can only verify <laughs> that the trailer has been remastered in 2K. That's the only thing that I can verify at this moment. <laughs> you know, what's funny is a lot of people were like, I'm good with my Mill Creek because it looks like crap. And that's what this movie should look like. I mean, they don't want the 2K upgraded no. picture. They want it to look like a chintzy VHS because yeah. that's what they grew up on. Cinemax or whatever this shit was on. It is a good movie. I don't remember the tagline being, he may be blind, but he don't need no doll. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. This movie's badass. I suggest aspirin for that headache. What headache? <laughs> this is a perfect movie, too, because it's funny. You can laugh at it, but you can laugh with it, too, because the internal logic works, and it works well as a movie. And, of course, this is, like, what, 89 or and something? And they're having 90. fun. Yes. yes I mean, they're, they're having the fun. And, and you're having fun watching it. It says Studio Classic, Russ. This has been deemed a classic by Kino. Kino, Kino you're doing classic. the Lord's work. You're doing the Lord's work. We got to move Honestly. on, Russ. We can't keep talking about <laughs> Honestly. If the fans want classic. more Blind Fury, let us know below. Classic. We'll come back with a full review. Moving over across the pond to Australia. Umbrella Entertainment, they put a little slate of films out. One that I thought was interesting and one that I'm definitely going to get. The first one is this movie, Martyrs. Have you heard of this movie, Russ? I'm aware of it. I've it, never it actually gets, seen it. Yeah, it gets thrown around in that conversation with like other French like extreme horror like Inside. And I've even seen people comment on our page about the Serbian film um, watch that we did. And, and they're like, oh, you should watch Martyrs or, oh, Martyrs was way worse and that kind of shit. Hmm. So it kind of gets talked about in that way. This was getting released by them in that sort of 250 limited edition piece um, set like The Love Witch got. I guess they're doing this a little bit more. But this is like one of those movies where I don't know that I need the art cards. I mean, there's some like really brutal shit that's going on. Like, what do I need these art cards for? I feel like it's, it makes it worse. I feel like I'm fucked up. I go take these out and look at them. Like, it comes with like a booklet and, and all this kind of stuff. I don't know. The regular edition's available. This 251 is sold out. Um, it's totally different subject matter than those other horror movies I mentioned. But it is kind of tough to watch with the amount of gore and so on that goes, goes in it. Interesting twists, but... You have me intrigued. It's interesting. It's solid French horror, but the main one that I'm really interested in is Mask. Now, this is probably the pinnacle of Peter Bogdanovich horror. (laughs) (laughs) Coming out September 7th, just for me, on blue from Umbrella, in a nice-ass slip box. What you might notice (laughs) is that it says director's cut at the top, and you might be saying to yourself, what the hell is the director's cut? He, He did. The theatrical one uses Bob Seger, which is the one I grew up on. It's the only one I could probably listen to at this point. Director's Cut comes with the boss himself, Bruce Springsteen, which was the director's initial intent for this movie. I would like some art cards and a poster with this. Dude, what was the artwork inside of it? It's like, it's like the, it looked the like the Outsiders, but it was Gar's bike gang. Yeah, it was the bike gang. Dude. This looks like Friends. <laughs> this looks like the Friends lo- uh, font. <laughs> this is like Friends and Sons of Anarchy combined. <laughs> it is. It's just missing those colorful dots in between the letters, and this is damn Friends. No one told Rocky Dennis life was going to be this way. <laughs> We shouldn't have covered this. We shouldn't. You're a horrible person. <laughs>